The Sports County Report with Libra King, brought to you by Harvey Autos in Shreveport, Bossier City, the name you've trusted for years, Geico, the insurance savings you expect, Supreme Chevrolet, expect more from Supreme Automotive Group in Gonzales, Creed and Creed Law Firm, Serious Attorneys, for Serious Injuries, Bollinger Shipyards, 75 years of delivering high quality vessels. Here's your host, Lee Burkeen. Hi everyone, Lee Burkeen with the Sports Scouting Report Podcast. We're today at Shaw. I want to thank Archbishop Shaw for allowing us to do a bunch of shows on the West Bank. And technically, uh, Bell Chase High School is uh, not, it's a rock throw away from the West Bank. And that's the show today, Bell Chase High School. We've got Coach Myers joining us. We've got two of his players that are going to join us. And we're going to talk about Bell Chase football. We're going to talk about their team. We're going to talk about Coach Myers' uh, experience. He coached at Higgins way back with his brother. And uh, they coached there for many years at Higgins High School in the West Bank. We'll be right back with more of the Sports Scouting Report podcast. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Welcome back. Uh, Lee Burkeen, your host, and make sure to go to our website because if you used to buy the magazine, Louisiana Football Magazine, this is our 28th year. We went digital last year. This year we're doing one district a day. So we're starting 5A and we're going all the way down to 1A. So every day, go up and pull up a district. It's got good pictures of all the kids, the coaches. It's in-depth. It's actually, we do more than the magazine. We have room. We ain't got to worry about print size and how much can fit. <laughs> so I'm an old school print guy, but I think the, the, yep. you'll love it. Um, d don't think it's different. It's the same. And I think the pictures make it feel the same. Uh, LAFootballMagazine.com. If you're a mom or dad watching Bell Chase, We'll be there when we get to that classification. And before we do that, I want to go ahead and introduce the head coach at Bell Chase High School for football, uh, Stephen Myers. Coach, hey, how you doing, good to man? see you, man. Oh, it's been, yeah. Over the years. Yeah, many 28, years. 28. Yes, yeah, you've been here 20, the G's and P's. Yeah. And, then, and I remember when you were at Higgins with your brother Wayne. That's right. It was every year like clockwork. Like we turn in the questionnaire. We, yep. Y'all get it back. No doubt. Y'all send pictures in. Mm -hmm. So y'all, we've been a part of this. And oh. there's not a lot of us left. That's right. Going back to 20. No, there years. really isn't. Like it Hank really today isn't. is one yeah. of the few. It's not not many. Uh, yeah, we, we started at Higgins in '96. So that was what is that? We started '97. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So uh, before that, I was at Franklinton a year. And oh yeah, it's been a. Quick 30 years. Quick 30 years. Too quick, Coach. Yeah, and the years are flying. They're flying by. Fossils right now. But uh, <laughs> I wanna, one of the great coaches in the, in, 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 the, in the metro area of New Orleans, uh, Bell Chase, not far from the West Bank. Right. Um, some great players that I grew up covering, uh, the late Chris Henry oh, yeah. at Bell Chase, whose son is like the greatest thing since sliced bread right now in Ohio, I believe. Right. That's right. That's Junior. Right. And, yeah. um, uh, Bell Chase has had some. Uh, they had a DB go to LSU. That I, uh, I believe so. I a think, few years ago. Yeah, before before uh, before you got there, huh, Coach? Right after. Yeah, before I was there. Yeah, Rocky Duplessis. I'm Rocky right. Duplessis, right. and uh, mm -hmm. I've always had a lot of them. Some of them go to Tulane. Mm -hmm. so a few have been to Nickel State. Yep. A few have we've been had, to McNeese. Right. Since I've been there, we've had uh, a few kids go to like ULL. One went to ULL. A couple southeasterns and all. I uh, know I shoot guys, but um, you got a kicker at Houston right now. Got a kicker that we just uh, that was with us last year. Uh, Trey Fury, really good. Good kicker. He was putting it five yards back in the end zone, which oh. is and helps tremendously. And Willie Fritz. Oh yeah, Fritz. The two lane contact. There. Good guy there. Yeah, he, when he got hired, I was like, they're gonna win. Since we're talking about players playing college ball, talk about your linebacker that graduated a year ago. Oh, Jaden Boysen. He's Big at guy. Southeastern. Yeah, he's, uh, as a junior, he broke the school record for rushing. I think he had hmm. seventeen hundred fifty yards or something right about that. Then, then he put on like thirty pounds between his junior and senior year, and he played some running back. He played defense in actually last yeah. year for us, and and at, in the playoffs he was playing quarterback. Because our quarterback got hurt, so, uh, but he's up there. That's how he's been doing well, doing well. What do you think of the, the old days, Coach? Going back to Higgins, you and your brother Wayne, and I mean, Scholar Green played for uh, yeah. there, and I mean, I had some. You, you know, you got a coach now with you that was a, a right. Higgins player that went uh, to Duke, Clifford Harris. Clifford right. Harris. Clifford. Uh, we had Scholar. What up? Uh, Ninety nine, two thousand for th three years, and then Clifford came the year after, and uh, three years starter. Um, 
He was, was actually the head coach at Higgins the last couple of years. And, okay. But we got him at Bell Chase, and uh, very happy with that. He's going to help us a lot. What, what, is, what have you seen change, Coach? I mean, I've seen it all, you and your brother. And I know Wayne's not coaching right now. Right. But, you know, going from Higgins to Bell Chase, you didn't go too far, but, you, you, you know, you're kind of on that West Bank metro area. Right, right. And now South Plaquemines will be coming later today to do a mm-hmm. show. But right. A lot, of, a lot of talent spread out, huh? Yeah, definitely a lot of talent. I mean, the West Bank's always had a lot yeah, of talent. Yeah, um, So, uh, yeah, it's always good football, um, you know. And um, But over the years, it has changed. I mean, it's changed from – well, football's changed. Yeah. You know, I mean – we still run the ball. That's our bread and butter. Old school. Um, well, that and, and 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 that's the type of kids we have. Yeah. You know, we play in schools that are usually the schools we are playing are usually bigger than us and faster than us. So we do what we have to do to win. And, uh, you know, our coaching staff, you know, we do what we got to do to win. And in the last seven years, we've won about 72% of our games. That's good. Which coach. is really good. Really good. So we want to be considering consistent. you don't have a four wide and no and, no no you know and and it ain't because we don't want to do it we have thrown we're trying right. to throw the ball a little more but your strengths but the strength is to run the ball and give the other team you know don't give them the ball as many times and I love running offenses yeah. I, I grew up during that oh yeah exactly you know I, I look at four wide like whoa well the yeah. advantage is now everybody's in spread just about right so right um, you know they're gonna. W- w- when they play us, it's a different. They got to prepare totally different, you know. Yeah. So, uh, so that helps us out. We'll take, a, we'll take a break. Come back and talk more with Stephen Myers, the head coach at Bell Chase High School. I'm going to talk about how strong, and competitive, and tough these kids are at Bell Chase. Because if you ever watch a Bell Chase game, you're going to get 120 percent out of the kids. Coach is getting the most out of what he has. And he might have an eight senior man class. He might have a 16 man yeah, senior class. That's right. It's never 30. No, no but it, it it, and it's always like revolving with a young or an older team, short right. term. That's right. But they always do a great job of doing the most they can with what they have, and they are some tough kids at Belt Chase High School. We'll be right back. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group in Gonzales. Welcome back, Lee Burkin, your host of Sports Scout Report Podcast, owner of Louisiana. Football magazine, yes, I'm older than dirt, started in 97. <laughs> coach started in 96 at Higgins with his brother Wayne. Stephen Myers here, the head coach of Bell Chase. Coach, before we go, and we're going to meet one of your coaches who, who's one of your coordinators. We're going to meet a couple of your players. Um, might even have it in a separate show. But tell everybody about your staff because, I mean, if you ain't got a good staff in football, it's right. tough. Oh, yeah. Whether, no you got, whether you got four guys or ten guys. Right. That's right. right. That's right. Well, the good thing about us is we have a, a core that's been around for ten years now. Wow. And they, uh, Coach Mir, Wes Mir is offense coordinator. I mean, he does a, a ton, you know, uh, not, not just offense coordinator. Like, he's – Everything. Yeah. Yeah. He does as much as I do. Um, we've had Matt LeBlanc, who's now doing the defensive line. He's been with us for ten years. Um Aaron Cofield, who's been – this will be his third year with us. Okay. Um, he's going to help with the line. But he coaches – he's been – he was coached in Texas for 25 years, uh, was the head coach at Fisher for a couple of years, okay. came down. Okay. And then we got him at Bell Chase, and he's a real asset to us, very knowledgeable. Um, we have uh, uh, Clifford Harris, who I mentioned. With the Duke, played right. for Yard Higgins. And he's going to be coaching quarterbacks and fullbacks. And, and we do a lot of the similar things that we did when we had Higgins. So for him, it's just, like he said the other day, because it's muscle memory. It's just yeah. the, the steps and all that, yeah. stuff, all that good stuff. Um, we got um, Michael Ford. Oh. We got him on this summer. Leesville, uh, Michael Ford? Oh, yeah. Former LSU, LSU running Ford. back? Yep, yep. Okay. He's doing the running backs, and he's he's been a real asset to us. Um, so, you know, offensively, really good staff. Really good staff. And then defensively, I got uh, Matt LeBlanc and, and Adrian okay. Dorsey, who's coming on this year also. Okay. Uh, he played at, uh, played at uh, O. Perry Walker. Okay. Yeah, I remember uh, that. He went on and played yeah. college, and he's going to do defensive backs for us. So, yeah, it's a good, 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 um, a good group. Of coaches and you know for the and you know the, uh, me and Coach Mir have been here for ten years. I'd have Before to. we go, tell everybody who's not from the New Orleans area, if they see Bell Chase is playing on a Friday night, how do they get to Bell Chase for somebody from North Louisiana? Uh, you well, know, for people not from the area. Well, you cross the GNO Bridge and um, meander through the West Bank and on Betty's Highway and head south. 
And there that's you go. The best, that's a great explanation. That's <laughs> Highway 23. The, that's the guy that knows where he's at. There you go. Um, appreciate you, Coach, coming on. We're going to get Coach Mir on to talk to him a little bit. A yep. couple of your players. Okay. And yep. uh, This is great. Y'all keep doing we, a great job. We appreciate what you do. I, I've been, I remember calling, calling on to your mom years oh, ago. Yeah. Hey, how do I get the magazine? Order in the magazines and all that. She stuff. was a so, nice uh, lady. Oh, uh, very nice. She was always she very polite. She answered the phone for everybody. Very polite, she, uh, yes. She treated everybody like they were family. Yeah. Because oh, no she doubt. loved it. But this, um, is, this is great what you do for the high school sports. High school thank football. you, Coach. So, Appreciate yep. you. All right. Thank coach you. Coach Stephen Myers, uh, head coach, Bell Chase High School. We'll be bring on Coach Mir and a couple of the players. We'll be right back. Creed and Creed Law Firm. Serious attorneys. Serious injuries. Welcome back. Libra King with the Sports Scouting Pro Podcast owner of Louisiana Football Magazine since 97. One coach that was on our show way back, uh, he's an, a young guy, but um, he actually uh, is a coach at Bell Chase. He's offensive coordinator. Coach Mir, Coach, uh, thanks for joining us. Yes, sir. How, how's it going? Uh, very good. You, you were able to take part with this with Stephen Myers, your head coach. Mm -hmm. But you're a graduate of Shaw. Yep. Tell uh, everybody what year you got out. Uh, I graduated in 2003. Uh, we got a couple other coaches on staff that went to Shaw. Uh, my little brother, he's graduated from 07 at Shaw. So. Okay. The whole family. Yeah, pretty much. Well, my dad's a, an honorary uh, diploma holder from Shaw. Really? The, yeah. Who is your favorite hold on Wh where's that sound coming from oh, oh you got to turn it off it's you yeah you got to turn it off yeah okay oh, my bad. Okay, I see you. Okay. Like, can put it on the ground okay so we'll go right back three two one so coach Mir, tell everybody your favorite football uh, ex-player of all time or a couple. Do you have a couple since you're an alumnus? Uh, f from Shaw? Yeah. Uh, there was uh, a lot of really good players. And I think some of the ones that get uh, kind of overlooked yeah. is those offensive linemen that's come through. We had, uh, especially during my time, we had a bunch of really good ones. Jasper Harvey, uh, David Fauche, uh, Fred Wilkins, Lance Ankar, uh, that whole group of offensive linemen we had when I was here, those were really, really good players. We covered all them, and, and you too. Uh, and then I know of some of those former O-linemen, like Steve Mott, way back. Oh, yeah. Joe Abergamo is a friend mm -hmm. of mine, way back. Uh, Torrey Tolley was mm -hmm. like right before y'all came out a few yeah, years. Yeah, his brother played Rocky. Heck, well, you know, a lot of tradition at that school for O-linemen. Yeah. And now you're the OC at Bell Chase. Mm -hmm. Uh, basically down the street from the West Bank. Uh, yeah, we're West Bankers. What what is uh, what's it like coaching with Coach Myers at, at Bell Chase? It's awesome. Uh, we uh, we have uh, a program, and we we all all the coaches believe in what we do 100. percent And uh, we've been there. I think this is Coach Myers' 11th year. Yeah. So uh, we've been consistent, and I think that's what it takes to, you know, be successful is being. Committed and consistent. Well, I know one thing. I've never met you before. I promoted you when you played, but when I watch a Bell Chase O line, they come off the ball. Oh, yeah, we try I mean, to. Tough. Yeah, we, we, we want to hit. Yeah. I mean, I, I've never seen a soft Bell Chase team. I've never seen one that's like. Yeah, I don't think we back. can field one. We, we try really hard to, you know, help the kids get tougher or I don't, they're already pretty tough we got good upbringing we got good community support and so they, they, they already come to us pretty tough yeah. and we just try to you know get that out of them coach Mayor, tell everybody as an OC what is your favorite packages to run do you have a couple of plays that you just love oh, to mean, throw out and say let's do this let's do that everybody's favorite play victory right take the knee mm -hmm. when you win so that's everybody's that's, yeah that's, that's everybody's yeah. favorite play um we run we run power a lot we run yeah. uh Inside veer, we run midline a lot, um, but I think our favorite play to run is quarterback sneak. Just uh, you know, it, it hits quick, and if you do it right, you get four yards, and you do it again, and you do it again. Uh, Move you know, the that, chains, huh? Yeah, that, that old math: four plus four plus four is first down. <laughs> there you, you go. <laughs> yeah, you get four and four. You only need two. <laughs> Two's pretty easy to get. Usually. Yeah, unless it's the NFL and it's the Steelers <laughs> or the Ravens defense, but uh. Tell everybody about what you're looking for this year. Um, you know, we're in the summer. The show will play in a couple of weeks. But what do you, what do you think uh, of Bell Chase, this, this team coming up? Um, we are, we replace a lot. Uh, we lose uh, Jaden Voison. He was Big time the player. single season record uh, holder for rushing yards at, in our school. Um, but we lose guys from last year, Jacob Black, Caleb Wallace. Um, it's tough to replace those guys because they were, 
multiple year starters at different positions mm-hmm. for us. Uh, Jacob Black, for instance, played safety, and then he played AZ, and then he finished the season playing quarterback for mm. us. Everywhere. Yeah, so he, it's tough to replace guys like that, but we got a really good group of juniors coming up um, that, that are really good and have a lot of experience, like uh, Dylan Carter, the kid who scored two touchdowns in, in each one of the playoff games we had last year in the 5A playoffs. So that's a pretty big deal. Um, our quarterback, Amari Ambrose, he is a... Uh, Come back as a second year as a starter. He's going to be a little more mm-hmm. comfortable in in the offense and be able to kind of take control more this year. Um, so, uh, in offensive line, we return five guys that have starting experience. You got to like that. Oh yeah, that's it's it's great to have some comfortability, some uh, familiarity with uh, the, those guys. So it's a little better for the running backs and it's better for the, the team, you know, because we we want to control the ball through the whole game. Coach Mir, before we go, I want to ask you about this on your shirt. Mm-hmm. It says "We, not me," which mm-hmm. I like that. Yeah, well, yeah, we. Uh, um, I guess it's uh, eight years ago now, seven years ago, whatever it was. We played uh, Plaquemine in, in the playoffs. We were the twenty-eight seed; they were the four seed, and uh, we we beat them. It was a big upset for us, and that season was a, a real big season for us. Mm-hmm. And we didn't have a running back with more than six hundred yards, but we had like five of them with six hundred yards. It was a group. So it was a group, and then. Um, so from then on out, we kind of it was kind of our thing. Like, you know, everybody has to contribute. You know, everybody. It's nobody's bigger than the team. Yeah. It's it's everybody going in towards one thing. Whether I mean, even when we had uh, Jaden Boyson had eighteen hundred rushing yards in a season, it was still a group effort. He only had thirteen touchdowns or fourteen touchdowns in a season with eighteen hundred yards because other people were getting the ball, and he was great as a decoy sometimes. Mm-hmm. And uh, so it's. It's kind of our, been our philosophy. This, this we not me. Um, I think the kids really buy into it. It's a. I it's love a, it. Y'all got it on the shirts. Oh yeah, we put it on everything. Yeah. I want to mention this for people that are not from Bell Chase or from the New Orleans area. Jaden Voison, big old kid, six one, six two, two forty with feet. Oh yeah. Can run, and I was su- I, I thought he was one of the best players in the state a year ago. Mm-hmm. For the last three years he played, or four years, but. Uh, that kid is. I, I, if he ever makes the NFL, I won't be shocked. That kid makes it somewhere. Uh, uh, he, he can you know, do it yeah. one day. And he's pretty dedicated. He's at Southeastern now. Uh, yeah, and still, I and I don't know if he, he's playing D line, tight end, running back. They, they, one they, of they, them. They're gonna figure it out. So uh, he, can, he, he can he can play and run. Big oh, guy. Yeah, I hope he does great. Yeah. Coach Mir, nice to meet you. Yes, sir. Thank you. Good to meet you. And uh, don't get up yet. We're going to come back, take a picture, and uh, hope you enjoyed it. We got our two players coming up from Bell Chase. We'll be right back. Listen, whatever you're driving right now, Tommy Harvey wants it. Bring it in to Harvey Subaru, Lexus of Shreveport, Bossier City, or John Harvey Toyota. They're paying big bucks for all trades right now. They'll cut you a check right there. Tell them Lee sent you. Hi, everyone. Welcome back. We continue with Bell Chase. We've got one of their recruits um, who's going to be a senior. And uh, tell everybody your name. I'm Trace Adams. Trace Adams, and you're a safety, you told me. Yes, sir. And you're going to be a senior. Um, yes, sir. Number 16, right? Number zero. Oh, was... you're going to zero. You were 16 last year. Yes, sir. It's hard to keep track of all you guys uh-huh. changing numbers. Yeah. But um, how long have you been playing as a starter for Coach Myers? Um, so um, I got to Bell Chase my sophomore year. Okay. And I played a little bit, but my junior year is when I really like stepped it up and became a full-time starter. So this will be your your second year start, but you yes, lettered sir. three years out of four. Yes, sir. What do you like about safety? Uh, it's just like, like when you're uh, out there, like I really enjoy coming downhill, making tackles. You like hitting yeah. people? Yeah. But I noticed that with a lot of Bell Chase guys over the years. I mean, it's, yeah. it's a very uh, tough program. Like guys are really physical yeah that's you know? what coach myers teaches us like hit 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 that's just how it is at bell chase you have a former favorite player at bell chase you got someone that you look at the wall or a frame that yeah anybody that sticks out to you uh my uncle uncle shane shelley yeah i remember him yeah, yeah that was he, your uncle yeah he's a bell chase legend and i don't know i just i hear a lot of great stories about what he did and it's trying to contribute are you going to be a captain this year or close yes, to sir. captain well that's yeah. good man um what do you think about this team? Uh, we're looking good. Like our plays, like our QB is starting to step up. All our running back, like all of our skill positions, is really like stepping up, and like everything is looking real smooth. A lot of good juniors, huh? Yeah, we have a we're young, but like we have a lot of athletes. 
What do you think about the defense as a whole? What do you think about the whole defense this year coming up? Uh, well, our defense has always been a strong point of Bell Chase. And then we we lost um, Jacob Black and Cedric, which and yeah. then Jaden. So that's three studs on the defense. Yeah, but yeah. like I'm looking to step up. We um, Bryce Dusing, He's a he was cornerback last year. Uh, okay. They just moved him to safety, so okay. we'll be back there together. Like we have a few guys stepping up to the plate. You and him will be able to uh, patrol everybody, huh? Yeah. And come up, you know, yes, sir. shut the run down. What do you like more? Do you like hitting guys? anticipating the pass or do you like making that tackle coming up hitting the quarterback and the running backs see like my favorite is like when they run that outside sweep or something i'm like come up down and cover two yeah just wipe it out but yeah i wouldn't wouldn't mind like jumping a little screen pass and duck that big lineman though right oh yeah yeah (laughs) you don't want those six two guys 280 uh blocking you but you learn that you you probably used to that have a feel yeah you guys on how to get low and yeah. That's what football's about. Well, huh? when I was younger, I um, used to wrestle. So that's like doing that has taught me to become like a very good tackler. So. Good balance. Yeah. Good hand, feet coordination. Uh huh. Do you want to play college ball when you're done? Yeah, that's the goal. What do you think? Uh, anywhere? If I mean, if it's a small school, are you still wanting to yeah, play? Yeah, I'm willing to play wherever. But like a school, a big school I have in mind is Southeastern. Okay. That's like. The goal. Tell everybody your height and weight as a safety. So I'm 5'10, 180 pounds. Pretty strong built guy. Yeah. You, so. You're stronger in the bench or the squat? Uh, well, I recently hurt my collarbone. Oh, okay. So okay. my bench has been going down. So I have all I've been doing with squats. But, but if you were healthy, what do you yeah, think you would? I, I was a bench guy. I got you. 300 maybe? If you're healthy? N- not that much, but I'm. Mid twos? Yeah, it's like 265. Not bad yeah. for 180. Good luck to you, man. All right, thank you. Good luck to you from uh, Bell Chase. And uh, don't get up yet. We got another player to join us. We'll be right back. Supreme Chevrolet. Expect more from Supreme Automotive Group in Gonzales. Welcome back. You met one Bell Chase football player. You're going to meet a junior. When I say junior, he's only going to be a junior this coming year. We're in the summer. And he's a class of 226. Man, I can't even believe I'm saying 226. I'm getting really old. But, yeah, he's only going to be a junior. He's a DB. He plays from some receiver. Uh, college prospect already. And his cousin signed uh, one AA D1 with Southeastern, Jaden Voisin, this past year, who's 6'2", 240. And uh, I want to welcome you. Tell everybody your name. My name is Dylan Carter. Uh, I go to Bell Chase High School. I play running back, wide receiver, and DB. A name to remember, huh? Yes, sir. Now, y'all got some history at Bell Chase, you know, the, the late Chris Henry. Yeah. And I've always had that sleeper athlete come out. Yeah. And there's always like a Bethelamu or somebody at line that signs uh-huh. at a small school. But you always got a lot of guys that play tough. Yeah, it's like it's a, it's a select few of guys that we come out there, give it our all, get the work done, and just come back home. Because we know, like, the, the route we want to go into is a winning route because it's just the small team we have this year. And like it's not, it's not the exact same how it used to be. So all we really know now is just work hard and win, because all the work that we put in is gonna show on the field. And Dylan, coach is really high on you. Yeah. Like when I talked to coach about three months ago, I said, Coach, tell me about some young talent. You were the first name. Boom, popped up. He said, Dylan Carter. He said, he said, I don't know where he's going to end up playing, but he's a great young athlete. Yeah. And you got, you got another year after this, and I'm, I'm just guessing what five eleven, six feet right now. Yeah. One like six foot, one seventy five. I mean, you're on your way uh-huh. to where now you can just chisel your body, right? Exactly. And you're gonna be a DB, probably, yeah. maybe receiver. Yeah. But you're already in that. You're in the box with the size and everything. Most definitely. So you're probably gonna be, you know, six one, one ninety, maybe two hundred. Yeah. If you get Jaden size, so. yeah. you might be six three. Be big stocky. Yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. but what do you? Speaking of colleges, you getting some South Southland Conference attention, which is good, good yeah. stuff. The Sam Houston's, the uh, Northwestern states, Nickel yeah. states. There's some good schools. Uh-huh. Southeastern's where your cousin is. Yeah. But all that other stuff's going to come too if you continue to like, to get there, up, blossom. Yeah. But if that happens and you get the bigger guys, is there a couple of guys you've always grown up going, that's that's my school or that's my school? Uh, you got a couple like that? Yeah, um, I, I had Michigan State really stood out to me. The just Spartans? Cause of, yeah, just because of the program. Okay. And uh, – like my favorite wide receiver that was in college was Keon Coleman. So seeing him come from there, Louisiana guy. Yeah, Louisiana guy. Seeing him come from there, 
I seen them ball out, I was like, you know, it's a good program. But like also, I just want to go to like a program that actually shows that they have like real wanting, wantingness towards me. Like they want you're, me to be there. You're an important yeah. piece. Yeah. A part yeah. Of piece Instead of, of another DB. Yeah. Right. Like where am I going to fit in, right? Exactly. Am I going to be a safety? You going to play me a corner? And is there an opening? But really, I hope I can. I hope to play running back or uh, wide receiver. I mainly want to play offense, the offensive yeah. side of the ball. Depends on how big you get yeah, next year, huh? Get, yeah. You might be two thirty in a year. You yeah, never you know. Never not have a sprout. You know, might be six three two thirty. Exactly. And then coach might say, "Hey, hey linebacker, outside, uh huh, right? or be a safety and be like that jumbo safety or yeah. something." Yeah, that's why I'm just you know like keeping my opportunities open and you know just working hard, making sure I keep being bigger, and yeah. I just work on a like excessive re reoccurring weight rate so I can uh you know get better at everything I do. Tell everybody what jersey number you're wearing this year, so oh. they when they see you play, they'll know who you are. Oh yeah, so I'm number ten. So okay. Y'all see number ten running the ball? You know it's me. I love ten. I I, I love seven. I was seven, and I was ten growing up. Yeah. The re the reason behind that, the reason why I got number ten, is because my quarterback from last year's name Stone Myers, is Coach Myers' yeah, son. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like. A, a lot of people, they really, like, thought he was just going to be nothing. Like, they treated him like an underdog, and that's how they treated me. So it's like, I really picked him because it shows me, like, just because they look down on this number, yeah. like, thinking he's bad or something like this, I'm going to show them that. You're going like, to honor it. Yeah, I'm going to honor that number. So, you know, I show Stone some love. I, I go hard for Stone. Stone, no. Well, that's good Ball stuff. I know Stone was a good long snapper, yeah, too. Uh -huh. See, I know that stuff. Real I know good. I've watched you guys play a little bit. Yeah. Good luck to you, man. Thank you. Good luck to you, and uh, I know Bell Chase is going to have a, an opportunity to to be to surprise a lot of people. Yeah, y'all got that plan. kind of team. That's the plan. I hope y'all enjoyed the show with Coach Myers and the two recruits, and Coach Amir, the, the offensive coordinator. You can tell he played O line, big old guy that can <laughs> run, man. He was uh -huh. he was a Shaw grad where we're filming today, uh, but we'll we'll see you soon, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching the Sports Scouting Report with Lieber Team.